Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today we will discuss about the simple sorting algorithm. Double sort, steps and sort, fraction sort. Now let me explain you how the bubble sort works. Before that we have to make a decision whether we want to sort ascending order or descending order. For our example we will do ascending order first. In this case the lowest number will, after the sorting the smallest number would be the first element and the largest number would be the last element. In this case of bubble sort, we have to iterate two times. In the first iteration, we have to pick the first element and compare with the next. If 50 is bigger than 40, then we have to swap the element. 4 will come at the first and 50 will come at the second element. Similarly, we have to keep on comparison this 50 with the next element till we reach the last element. So in the next iteration, we have to pick 4 and repeat the process. After 2 iterations of all elements, your array will be sorted. And in the worst case and best case scenario, in the worst case is the array, if array is already reverse order, then we have to iterate 2 each time. If in best case, if an array is already sorted, then we no need to do comparison for each and every cases. The time complexity for worst case is O n n power of two. In case of best case, the time complexity is order of n. Now let me explain you. Now let's get started with the coding. We have defined a array of numbers. We make that numbers is mutable because we will make in place sorting. That means after this sorting, this number itself will be modified. So we will define bubble sort function, which this time will make it generates. So that we can pass integer sorting point numbers or custom construct as well, whichever we want to sort, it should be flexible. And it takes one argument array and which pointed to mutable array reference. And we have to specify the trait boundary, bit different, and it is needed for rust. In in this case. We, we have added trade boundary of order and debug. This ordered order trait is responsible for giving the functionality of greater than or equal to get all the comparison utility. The greater than, you know, less than, and so whichever the, whichever the primitive, whichever the data type meeting this order criteria, order trait, that we can able to sort it. And debug trait is optional in case you want to print it, you need it, otherwise, you can keep that debug trait. So, we need two iteration one iteration using foreign loop from 0 to length. So, it will look through all this individual element. And uh, next iteration would be up to array length minus i minus 1. Minus i minus 1 is just to skip this last element in the iteration. In case of 0, it would be length minus 1. But in case of uh, in case of uh, one element, it, it will just skip this last element because that is already sorted. And in this case, we have comparison between this array j with j plus 1. Comparing this first element with this corresponding next element. If the first element is greater, like 50 is greater than that 4, 50 is greater than 4, so we are swapping it, 4, 50, and so on.
can call this bubble sort. Print it. Let me print one more time. If you execute this program, so for, the, for the first iteration, this P will be compared to 4. This will be printed after swap. 50 will be placed in the second element. Then it will compare with 30, then it will be slided to 50. So as part of part element, the 50 will be in the right position. And then it is second, second iteration, then the third iteration, and fourth iteration, and so on. Second sorting algorithm is the insertion sort. Insertion sort is similar to bubble sort, but it is slightly different. So for the insertion sort, we first pick one element like 50. So if you see the vertical line, so it will you will insertion sort you will separate that original array into two parts. One is sorted array, and the one is unsorted array. If you pick the first element, it is always sorted. And uh, then you will pick that uh, first element from the unsorted array. Then you compare with 50. If it is uh, less than 50, then you place in the first element. And 50 will be uh, positioned at the first element, and 50 will be slide or 50 will be swapped. Both 4 and 50 will be swapped here. Similarly, now sorted element would become 4 and 50 and unsorted with the rest element. Then you pick this second element from unsorted array, compare it with 50, and swap it to with 50. And also, like uh, you have to compare like 30 with the other element also. In this example, you have to pick this 5 here. Five to you compare with fifty. So five is less, so you swap it between those two, five and fifty. And compare five with thirty as well. Five is still less, you could swap it between five and thirty. So now this becomes a sorted array. So you have to find the proper place for this uh, number in the right hand side on sorted array. So once you look continue the looping, the array will be sorted. Now let's code this example. We have our original array. And we follow the same signature as uh, the bubble sort. Here we'll look, iterate from the first element to the array length because the first zero index element is already sorted. And we will create a temporary variable j where we will store this first index. It is this for i, they will represent to 4 this time. If j is greater than 0 and, and you compare with 4 to 50, 4 is less than 50, then swap that element and you decrement the 0. Similarly, you look through each and every element. And if it is, you have to compare with and place in the proper position. Call this incision sort and print it as sorted array. You see in this output, see this is the original array. You pick with 4 and 4 you place in the first element. Then you pick 30. And put in 30 in the proper place. Then you pick 5 and put 5 in the proper place. You pick 20 and put in the 20 proper place. Then your error will be sorted. Then this insert an order. Insert and sort. The third sorting algorithm is selection sorting algorithm. In this case, we look through individual element in the first iteration. 
we have to find the minimum number in this uh, array. If you go check 54, 35, 20, the minimum number is 4. And if 4 we have to place in this first element. Then this iteration uh, will start from the second element because the first is already the minimum number. And again check for the minimum number, this is 5. Place in the second element. Then don't start the iteration from beginning. Start the iteration from the third element. So the first, first and second will be already sorted. Then check this minimum number 20, place in the 20 the proper place. And do the so on. The important thing the iteration where to start it. You start the iteration from beginning and find the smallest number by comparison individual numbers. And place in the first place. Then next time you start this uh, iteration from the next element onwards. Don't look to this first element. And worst case and best case complexity is order of n to the power 2 because in both the cases whether this uh, array is already sorted or it is unsorted. You have to iterate and compare or is iteration. There is no other way. This is with simpler sorting syntax. We have the same original array. This method signature also will be same as bubble sort and incision sort. We are looping 0 to length minus 1. Then we are trying to find this minimum number. That's why we, instead of that ij index, we are using this minimum index dj. This we will going to find out which is the minimum number. And we inside, inside this iteration, we are looping through from this i plus 1. So the first element each uh, iteration will the first position would be sorted so we'll always do i plus one till length and if uh, if the j is less than the minimum index one then we are uh, we are getting this minimum index equal to j we find the minimum index we are just swapping it so each each iteration will find definitely for a one minimum number. The selecting sort. In this example, the original array, we found this uh, minimum number here, like four. We we'll properly place it in the proper place. Then in the next uh, 50, we start the iteration from 50 onwards and find the second minimum number 5. Then we put 5 here. Then we compare from 20 to this thing and 20 is the next minimum number. And we have to compare it and so on. And lastly, we go to sorted array. A quick demonstration of the three different types of sorting algorithm in Rust. Hope you like it. Have a good day ahead. Bye bye.